Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are here with the ninth unit of educational technology. Yes, the new trends in educational technology. We start the discussion about this uh, quotation. Jennifer Fleming said, teaching in the internet age means that we must teach tomorrow's skills today. Yes, I'm going to give you the introduction about the unit. The teaching technology is currently used in all over the world. It is very effective technology if it is done or it is performed by a good teacher. Teaching technology demands. Teaching technology demands four important characteristics. The first important characteristics is that the teaching has to be done by a good teacher. It has to be done in a classroom. It goes as per the age level of a child and teaching has to be face to face. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about the objectives of the unit. After watching this program, students, you will be able to identify the important new innovations in educational technology. You will be able to discuss the role of the computer in education explain the significance of the use of the interactive board, specify the role of teleconference in education, and evaluate the role of interactive videos in educational technology. Now, first I would like to give you a short view about the technologies which have been used extensively during last few years in the different parts of the world for educational purposes. The first is radio, which was very particularly useful to people living in remote areas and the far-flung areas. This is the voice of AIOU. Alama Iqbal, Open University, FM Radio. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم عزیز طلبہ علامہ اقبال اوپن یونیورسٹی کے بی اے کے کورس تعلیم عامہ یعنی خواندگی کے دوسرے پروگرام کے ساتھ میں ہوں آپ کا میزبان تصور زمان بابر اے ویل پریپیئرڈ ریڈیو لیسنس کین بی افیکٹو مینس اف انسٹرکشنز فار دا لرنرس دیر آر آلسو دا ریڈیو کانفرنس اینڈ دا ٹوٹوریلس A good radio network can be of great assistance in promoting education. So it was about the first old um, educational technology. Now I'm going to tell you about the second important technology that is the television. Television visuals creates great impact on viewers. It can be very effectively used for technology and in science subjects also where the demonstrations they are required. The material used on uh, radio and the television is supplied to learners in the form of the CDs and the cassettes also. learners are not in a situation to buy these instructional materials it is also stored uh, in schools and colleges and the universities libraries no doubt libraries always act as a good source of uh, stock of the audio visual aids for the students here i would like to tell you that how this stock found very useful in such a way it promotes self study It encourages the best learning strategy for the weak learners. It reserved stock helps in 
uh, teachers training workshops it brings industrial progress in classroom environment and it helps in counting education in an off campuses environment like in professional studies the medical colleges and the engineering universities the third important technology is the use of the telephone specifically for the distance education to provide interaction between a tutor and a student so dear students uh, these were uh, the most important technologies which were commonly used few years back to strengthen the needs and the development of the different areas in education now we move towards the latest trends in education technology the latest invention in technology is gaining importance all over the world that is computer computer-aided instructions or learning is becoming increasingly popular and common in use. This is very important to know that what is a computer. According to USASI, computer is an electronic machine which helps to solve the countless problems with speed and accuracy. It makes calculations, comparisons, and also stores information. In order to know about the computer, we can say that the computer works faster than human beings. Computers are also capable of printing out the data or the information for our assistance and the guidance. Okay, now it was about the computer. Now I'm going to tell you about the structure and the modification of a computer. It is composed of switches, wires, motors, transistors, and integrated circuit assembled on a frame. The frame is composed on one type of the writers, the line printers, the card readers, punches, magnetic tape drives, and central processing unit. All these making a proper computer system. Now with this modern time, computers are coming with wireless technology. They are very easy to handle and they are also portable. And uh, with this latest technology and with this modern time, the computers they are, are now in the different shapes also. They are in the form of laptops, the tablets, the cell phones like Android or iPhone. They are also in the form of iPad mini or iPad. Xbox, PlayStation, LED TV, Samsung Gear, and Smart TV. With all these different new versions of computer, it has also uh, some limitations. Definitely, uh, it is expensive to use. Secondly, its operation system or the way to operate a computer, it is also very technical task. The another limitation of the computer is that all subjects cannot be taught on computers easily. The repair and the maintenance is also difficult to manage for any educational institutions. And due to the lack of the trained teachers, it is difficult to impart education with this latest technology. The use of a computer is rapidly increasing in Pakistan. Now, the educational organizations like the school, the colleges, and the universities have opened separate computer departments. In addition to the training people, computers are also used for research work. Okay, now I'm going to share about the important characteristics of the computer with you people. Okay, computers are used to develop the creativity in students and ab ability to solve the problems. Computers also act as an additional teaching equipment. Research found that computer is playing a vital role in the education of handicapped children also. According to World's Encyclopedia, Computer will be used by new generation intensively and will be more productive in education. Further, this technology respond to our questions and the problems properly and immediately with, uh, within few seconds by a single click. 
even these days the verbal answers and any information can be obtained from the computers after telephonic conversations another latest technique about the computer is computer networking in which many computers are linked with each other to share information and the required data like in educational institutions the offices in banks airports everywhere everybody is using the computer to exchange the informations between each other in the same way in educational institutions the results are also prepared on computers so all these evidences reflect that computer is the best medium of instruction in educational technology okay so these were the characteristics now i'm going to tell you about the the, the advantages of the computer in education computer helps in self instruction methods for an individualized teaching due to its efficiency and accuracy its impression is clearly visible in education it is based on examinations research work and instructional processes now it is also become easier for universities and the other educational departments to conduct ex exams on computer to save stationery now mostly test papers are made on computer like entry test for the professional studies nts and gat computers are commonly used for administrative purpose also students remain active when teaching is imparted through e learning or educational technology it is also Uh, going to guide a teacher the way she is going to impl implement the effective learning strategies teachers lesson plans become more comprehensive by this computers it helps students and youngsters in development of the other skills like the job search on computer and the higher studies to abroad it is also work as a teacher by maintaining records of the actions and the instructional material nowadays it has also become a source of entertainment for people in the form of playing games on computer interacting people on facebook and enjoying different informations images and the videos on whatsapp freeman dyson said technology is a gift of god after the gift of life it is perhaps the greatest of god's gift it is the mother of civilization of arts and science okay now i'm going to tell you about interactive boards the use of the interactive boards is the best way to impart the education by showing all information but practically through videos or by handwriting and graphics interactive boards is basically a instructional tool that allows computer images to be displayed on a board using a digital projector interactive board act as a pedagogical tool it motivates teachers and learners into absorbing information by interactive videos this system of teaching accommodates all types of learning but without computer it is worthless no doubt e learning has its important role in education technology focusing to incorporate the quality education among learners i am going to tell you about the merits of the e learning e learning is done by in short chunks of time it is more flexible technology it is mobile and can be done on laptops mobile and tablets also there is always something to learn uh, through e, e learning it increases the amount of the interaction and the engagement among the learners it is global it is interesting to acquire the knowledge through e learning as far as the merits they are concerned we also are going to discuss about the demerits of the e learning the demerits are uh, there is a lack of control in e learning 
it does not appeal to all learning styles technology issues are there incompetency of the user is tangible so it was all about uh, the importance of the e learning now i'm going to discuss about the next important educational technology gadget that is the teleconferencing in education teleconferencing is a generic term of linking two or more people through electronic communication at a distance there are at least six types of the teleconferencing it is uh, audio conferencing audio graphics computer video conferencing business television and the distance education the methods used differ in the technology but common factors contribute to shared definition of teleconferencing link people at multiple locations interactive to provide two way communications dynamic to require the users active participation and definitely use our telecommunication channels so in the end i would like uh, to share uh, with you a very important um, quotation of the bill gates that technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them the teacher is the most important so dear students it was all about this unit so dear students it was the last uh, unit of this series and uh, we tried our level best uh, to incorporate uh, all the units very effectively and uh, i hope that you have understood all the topics very well and will follow the given directions with true spirit we wish you uh, good luck for your educational career see you and allah hafiz